Hey guys, Zach Calhoun here from Cloud Piano. Excited today because I'm going to walk you through and show you a brand new revamped feature by CloudPiano.com, the Google Street View Upload feature. So if you don't know who we are, we are the world's best 360 or 3D virtual tour software. Create really amazing virtual tours and experiences on CloudPiano.com. Share your space, sell your stuff in full 360. Okay, so with that being said, let's get to the new feature, the Google Maps integration. Okay, so this is a virtual tour created on Cloud Piano, and I'm going to show you kind of what's typical and then what we can do and change. Okay, and, and how we can use these photos of this F45 gym, which is what, what I used last time showing this specific feature. Um, but we've changed up how this um, process goes about so that you can create a virtual tour one time, click publish, and it's on Google Street View um, if you decide you want to add it to, to Street View. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven panos here. So seven 360 photos. So if you don't know what a, a 360 photo is, a full 360, you can see look up, you can look down. In this case, this is an F45 gym. Um, and you don't need too many photos to really um, capture a space, right? You can take a few of them, um, you're ready to rock and you are done. So I'm gonna show you now what it's like to edit it and upload to, to, to Street View. So when you click, uh, once, you, so when you're in your cloud panel editor, so app.cloudpanel.com forward slash tours, and really whenever you log in, it basically takes you to this screen. Um, you can, I'm gonna skip this for now and come back to it. Um, you upload your 360 photos, either taken from a 360 camera or our Cloud Pano mobile app. So let's say you are just wanting to make a, a, a 360 virtual tour of your space, right? We'll go to the Cloud Pano app and you can, oh, I'll just show it to you right here. It's right, right up top. It says download on iOS or Android. So if you have an iOS, you can even use our iOS capture. We'll go ahead and show you what it looks like just to give you some more context here. It's, it's called the Cloud Pano Virtual Tour Creator, okay? Use this app and you can create 360 photos from your phone. When you make these photos, you upload them into your tour editor, just like this. So you don't have to use a mobile app. You can just upload 360 photos, which are two to one ratio, echo rectangular shaped photos. Basically, there's 360 photos. And you'll see them here on your left side panel, okay? Okay, so now we've gotten the basics out of the way. What's the steps I need to take in order to create this virtual tour? Well, you'll see here on the top right, we have this brand new, beautiful set north point feature, okay? Um, you must set your north points. That's the first step because Google Maps wants to know which way is north, bro, or in, in this case, um, which way should, should these photos face uh, via and whenever we are traveling through the space, okay? And because, and because these north points are going to be set and saved on, on the photos, it gives Google a much better data set to connect these photos and make it a beautiful experience. So I'm going to face all these photos um, and set north points towards um, this wall right here, because I'm pretty sure that's north. So all you have to do is just like point the photo towards it and then click the icon and it will set it. So I'm going to go through all these, turn this guy around towards this wall. And you don't have to get it necessarily perfectly perfect. But um, every time you set a north point, you'll see on the left side uh, in your sidebar, a little N icon. The N icon just indicates that the north point has been set for that photo, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do it real quick. We only got, I think it's seven or so photos. So we don't wanna face the north point the wrong way because then when someone travels to that space, they will um, probably be turned around. So here we go, one more time. And again, it's just setting the compass per photo so it tells the whole entire tour experience where we're at, where we're faced. And actually, the, I know I know the doors to the right here, so this one's already correct, so I'm gonna go ahead and set it. So all my ends are here, right? That means it indicates that all my north points are set. And in this case, I'm just using this tour for Google Street View, so I'm not, I'm not even gonna name the photos. I don't even care. Just, they were called image 1157, that's fine. Um, now our Street View editor has changed. Basically, it's... Um, you go right here, where instead of clicking publish, I'm going to click this down arrow. Right here it says publish to GSV, and it gives me a little title here of that tour, so I'm going to click it. It says it looks like you've already published this tour to GSV. So I'm going to create a new one because I'm going to 
republish it and click confirm so I can show you guys um, what we're doing here. So it says types of scenes. This tour must contain only panoramas of 360 images. North point, it's required to set north points for each scene. So which we have done that right now. We now we go on to the next step where it says publish to GSV. So let's go. We got five steps here. Okay. You can see a little, little banner up top. First, I must authorize with Google. Okay. So I'm going to go right here where it says at, at cloudpanel.com. Um, that's my Google account. Um, and I'm going to click once it's here. Great. Real simple. Let's click one button, click yes. Okay. Now I have to associate it with the Google maps listing. So I know this is an F 45 and I'm going to type in the area and the address and then, okay, good. Click next step. That's the one you want to make sure you find the, the GMB listing, the Google, my business. You want to find the listing. Don't just place the address. If I could say it a thousand times, I could say, I would say it again. Don't just place the address because it will just appear on the map address, but you want to associate it with the listing, the Google maps listing so that the customer sees it when, the, when someone clicks into it. That's how you get credit for it. Otherwise it's very hard to find. It's still findable, but it's hard to find. Next, you can add levels if you'd like, and you actually delineate each of these specific panos for which level it goes to, which is helpful. Obviously, if you have a mall or like two story location or three stories, etc. So you can add levels right here. I'm not going to show you that right here, but it's pretty self-explanatory. If you're on that level and it appears to the right, that's the level. So right now I'm on level one. I want all these photos here. So we're good to go. Okay, I'm going to click next step. Okay, so now connections. All right. This is what you've probably seen before in the past, especially with our previous uh, previous editor. It says, not all scenes are, are connected with the entry scene. Check all levels and connect the scenes, okay? So I want my entry scene actually um, to be this one, okay? And I'm going to make sure that it's over here. To the left. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit as well. Can I zoom in? I'm, I'm already fully zoomed in. All right. So when I connect these photos, first I need to make sure that, oh, I see. Okay. So right here is my entry photo. So that, this is photo seven. Okay. Well, I want photo seven to kind of be in the front. Okay. The front of the, of the location. And these are kind of close together due to just the nature of, um, this smaller tour, but that's okay. So I'm going to, if, if I have seven selected, whatever I do over here, that's the one that's the one I'm editing. Okay. So if I want to, if I want to connect it to say scene two, I would click this little edit icon right here and then connect them. Okay. So I connected them right there. I've made two connections, which usually is fine. And that's, that's it. Connections are done. Okay. So now I'm going to go to say scene two and I want scene two to be connected with, let's say three and maybe four, four looks good to me. So we'll do four. Okay. Just like that. And then I go on to the next one. So really simple. So now I'm on scene three. Well, it already has two connections here, right? So I probably want to have it maybe connect to scene five also, and uh, maybe we'll do scene four. Just why not? So I'm going to move scene five over, and then I'm going to click my next photo here. So now I'm on scene four. All right. And you kind of get in the drift here, but I'm just going to let you guys see me do it real quick. I'm just going to quickly edit or quickly connect them. Okay just like this. Now for the sake of time, I'm going to, um, connect a few more and then have, make sure that one is connected as well. And of course, whenever you take these photos, you would, you, when you look at it, you see, okay, I know where this one's located. This one's actually over here. Okay. I'm going to move it, but just for the sake of time, I'm just going to kind of show you that's how it works. So you want to kind of lay them out first and then, uh, connect them. Okay. That's how that works. So then I'm going to click, um, let's have one like the seven. There we go. I'm going to click next step. So my connections are done. It says unpublished. Okay. Here's my username. Here's the address. Um, posting time on Google maps take up to 48 hours. Seven photos have been connected. Okay. Now so I'm going to click publish is very important. If you want to come check your status of your Google maps virtual tour, you want to click the, um, eye icon and, and just check the status. Typically it takes multiple days, 24, 48 hours. First, the photos get uploaded, then they get connected. So it just takes a lot of time for some reason. Google maps just takes a long time to get that data up and live. That's just how they work. Probably a very big company, I would guess. Lots going on. Okay, so click publish. And here's what you're going to see. Great job. Your tour is sent is sent to be published with GSV. 
Posting time can take up to 48 hours, sometimes 72, sometimes a week. Be patient, okay? Say okay. Um, so now when you come back here, you can actually check on the status. So I go right here and it'll tell you. Publishing, processing, okay? Seven scenes, et cetera. So here, here's kind of the update. Um, so if your clients ask, what's the update about, about um, GSV? Um, this is how you can track, okay? And that's, and that's it, really simple. If I, if I wanna see the link itself, I can just click right here, this little link, and it'll take me to Google Maps. And here I am on that on that specific uh, photo I was showing a moment ago. And once the arrows are, are uh, once the connections are populated, I'll be able to jump into those arrows, et cetera. Okay, that's how that works. So if you're wondering, how do I upload a virtual tour to Google Maps or Google Street View? This is the process. It's actually really simple once you do it once. I know I was clicking around and showing you everything, um, but basically you upload your photos. You make sure to save your North Points on those said photos. And um, then you click publish to GSV, connect the account, make sure that Google My Business, My Business listing is connected to, associated to the business in the Street View account are connected. You connect those photos with a few clicks, make sure they're, they're in the right place, click publish, and wait 48 to 72 to a week, possibly, but um, two, three days, and, and it should be up and live. So that's it. That's the process. Let us know if you have any questions. We're obviously here to help you. We want you to have the most success you possibly can on Cloud Pano. The way to use this feature is to press this big green button and upgrade your account to Cloud Pano Pro Plus. You must be a Pro Plus user to upload to Street View. Um, we're excited to serve you and help you have more success with your 360 endeavors in your business. Have a great day. Look forward to seeing you soon.